I'm going to invite you just to sit down for a moment and ask you to give your ear, well, not you, sister, if you'd come and just say, make your appeal. Um, sister has come down from right near where the Commonwealth Games are ha happening in Birmingham, but she's not going to think, talk about that, but the work of the Missionary Sisters, of which she is a part. Good morning, everyone. Thank you, Father Reglan, for that wonderful introduction. My name is Sister Mary Sebastian. I belong to the Congregation of the Sisters of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, Mother of Christ, a religious institute founded in Nigeria in 1937 by a late Irish Bishop Chasiri of blessed memory. I'm also today to here today to represent all the missionary sisters, the women missionary sisters who are here in England and Wales, but they are working overseas. If you have this prayer card, you see at the back of the prayer card the name of the religious women religious who are here in England, and I'm here today to share with you the work we do as missionaries. Before I share with you, I want to bring in the passion of our father founder in 1937 when he was on pilgrimage in Lourdes. He had this great passion for women and children, and that made him to found a congregation in Nigeria at that time when women are so much marginalized. And it is with this that spirit of compassion and humility that made us as religious to embark into the work of humanitarian services. As missionary sisters, our major duty, our primary duty number one is to pray, and our second work is to care for the poor. And that's why we go into the remotest parts of the world to bring the love and compassion of Christ to people who are less privileged than we are. But Francis will always say that we are all missionaries. It doesn't matter what you are or what you are doing, whatever you are doing. When we spend time in prayer, when we save a little from our shopping, when we give our time our talents, our giftedness in service to other people. We are simply proclaiming that gospel of compassion and love. And I will share with my practical example or experience last year when I was back home in Nigeria. I was opportune to visit one of our centers where we look after disabled people. I was so amazed that at three o'clock, which is Divine Mercy prayer, they all gather in their wheelchairs to pray Divine Mercy for you and for I. And they say they pray for the whole world. These are people who are disabled. It is because the missionaries have given them that support to realize that they are still human beings. In other words, they are praying for you for the support you are giving them through the missions. So many young people are out there in the streets because their parents cannot afford to pay 50 pounds in a year to pay for their school fees. So many elderly people are in their homes lavishing because nobody cares for them. In Africa, where disability is a taboo, it is the support of the mission that helps these people to realize that they are still created and loved by God. I am a product of mission. I remember those years, probably 20 years ago, when I was in the formation houses, missionaries were bringing in things to support us. You might be one of those who have contributed to who I am today. And that's why that word of Pope Francis makes really great sense, that wherever we are, we are missionaries. When we give to mission, we are supporting the work of the church. I know in one way or the other, you have been an advocate of the poor. You have been supporting the church in her missionary work. I'm here to say thank you to each and every one of you for being there for Christ in the poor. And the beginning of the gospel today says, build a treasure that can never be forgotten. Charity is an act you do that will forever and ever and ever remain. Your name attached to the work of charity you show to somebody else. 
You can hurt somebody, that will be forgotten. You let go, you forgive. But when you do an act of charity, it tax to your name. The poor person in Africa, in Asia, wherever in the world, remembers you every minute because of that money you have given to support them. Because of the time you spend in prayer to pray for them. Because of the opportunity you allow yourself in to serve in the parish where you are, in your workplace, in your neighborhood, in your community. It is an act that can never be forgotten. So I'm here today not only to ask you to support the charity, the work of the church, but also to know that you are building that mansion that can never, ever be destroyed. And that's what the gospel told us today. Build for yourself a treasure that will forever last. And I pray that God, who is not done in generosity, we bless each and every one of you for the support you have given to us. Because where you cannot go, we are there on your behalf. Next week, I will be somewhere in Seaford. I am there. I will be there next week to represent all of you. We are the missionary church. May God bless us all. I invite you to say the prayer on the card with me. If you've got this prayer card, I will also be available at the back of the church if you wish to take some copies to share with you also with your friends and family. I invite you now to pray with me. Lord Jesus, as the Father sent you into the world, so you sent me to show all people your love. Let my hands be your hands, my words be your words, so that I may give your love to everyone I meet and help to spread this love to the ends of the earth. Amen. We voice of the poor calling you today to be their servants. May God bless us all.